Okay. If you are watching this video before having actually started chat or section 11.8, so if you're watching this uh, immediately after looking at this video, uh, leave yourself one page of notes. We'll fill those in then class um, for the start of section 11.8. And then uh, you'll want this page of notes, kind of your second page of 11.8 section. So this video is covering uh, the clausius clapeyron equation. And this equation looks at uh, our pressure compared to the delta H of vaporization of a substance. The equation tells us that the natural log of P will be equal to the negative delta H of vaporization divided by R. Multiply that by 1 over T. and plus some constant C. So P is going to be the vapor pressure. And we want that in atmospheres. R is the gas constant, but we want the energy version of the gas constant. So we want the 8.3145 joules per moles Kelvin. And we don't want the Pouvenert version of 0 0.0821 liter atmospheres mole Kelvins. I want the energy one, one with joules in there. We want the temperature in Kelvin. And C is just some constant. What this equation allows us to do is it, it gives an opportunity to plot uh, and have a linear line of natural log of P versus 1 over T. And that can help us or allow us to estimate what our change in pressure is going to be uh, in the delta H of vaporization when we change temperature or vice versa. So solving this equation for a P1, P2, T1, and T2, uh, we get it into just a, another form, but it's definitely the more useful form. You do not need to memorize this equation, uh, but you do need to know how to use it. In other words, this equation will be given on an exam. So I promised you an example. And again, uh, as I mentioned in class, the math is not difficult. It's not. It's just simple algebra, uh, but it's not the easiest algebra. It takes uh, multiple steps and having patience and making sure that you do the appropriate steps in the appropriate order. So we're going to take a sample of ethanol at 34.9 degrees Celsius at 100, mil 100 millimeters of mercury and raise the temperature to 63.5 degrees Celsius 
and determine what our new pressure is. All right, so ethanol at 34.9 degrees Celsius has a vapor pressure of 100 millimeters of mercury. If the temperature is raised to 63.5 degrees Celsius, what is the new pressure? And we're given a delta H of vaporization for ethanol is 39.3 kilojoules per mole. So our P1 is 100 millimeters of mercury. We want this in atmospheres. So we convert millimeters of mercury to atmospheres. One atmosphere is 760 millimeters of mercury. Zero point one three one six atmospheres. T one is 34.9 degrees Celsius, T2, 63.5. We want these both in Kelvin, so we're going to add 273.15. Get 308.05 Kelvin and 336.65 Kelvin. Now I find with a, an equation like this, um, rather than solving for my unknown with symbols, I would rather just kind of simplify my numbers down and solve for my unknown. So I'm going to write my equation out plugging in my values for P1, T1, and T2. So we have natural log of 0 0.1316 atmospheres divided by P2, which is what we're searching for. I want my delta H of vaporization. My R value is in joules. So I'm just going to go ahead and convert, convert uh, my delta H of vaporization from kilojoules to joules. And so we want 1,000 joules per one kilojoule per 39,300 joules per mole. So that's my delta H of vaporization. R 8.3145 joules per mole Kelvin. Then I have T1 minus T2. I'm going to divide that by T1 times T2. So if I simplify my right side down, I take 39,300 divided by 8.3145, end up with 
I'm going to keep a lot of sig figs. Uh, unit wise, my joules and my moles cancel. Kelvin was in the denominator of the denominator, putting it in the numerator. Then my temperatures. Negative 0 0.000258. That becomes unitless. Multiply these two numbers out on my right hand side. I get negative 1.304. And I haven't done anything to my left hand side, so I still have natural log of 0 0.1316. Get rid of my natural log, take the E, and I get 0 0.1316 atmospheres divided by P2 is a positive 0 0.27157. Get my P2 on the right hand side, divide by 0 0.27157, so I have 0 0.1316 divided by 0.27157 and I end up with P2 is equal to 0 0.4846 atmospheres. Uh, let's see, significant figure wise, well, cuts it down a lot, but that 100 uh, millimeters of mercury in uh, the question has one sig fig, so I guess technically, uh, for well not technically, but sig fig wise, our value is going to be 0 0.5 atmospheres.